Hello, hello there, neighbor. We just got a couple quick stories for you. First things first, an update. In the event you haven't already pre-ordered your Valve Index, then you may be SOL for a minute because any new pre-orders won't be shipped out until late August, early September. I, I will have the updated Steam link, Steam store page in the description down below to verify my story. The other quick update is that in the event you've already pre-ordered the Rift S, which is coming out this September, here in about three weeks on the 21st, then don't fret. Any purchases that you may have made on the Steam store in preparation for this console will be compatible with your Rift S. And on top of that, in the event you don't really want to spend that kind of money, like I said yesterday, the HTC has its own streaming service, Viveport Infinity, which they are allowing for any new or existing owners of the Oculus or Valve systems. So, you know, keep an eye out for that if you want to save a penny. Two free months, $25 value, blah, blah, blah. This next big story is all about Facebook's VR full body rendering. We are just a couple years away from quality, and I mean superb quality VR rendering. Ready for Ready Player One style full body rendering. Just a few short years away. Well, maybe not a few, but we are in that direction. Because right now, Facebook's VR line is wanting to work on full body rendering in their Oculus line. This isn't something that's, obviously this isn't something that you can find in the Rift S or the Quest. That's not even close. This is something that you'll more likely find in a Rift 2 or 3. Because they, they just started working on this. It'll take a while to complete. However, that being said, if they do get a handle on this, because it's being handled by Facebook, a company which has had its own set of privacy problems in the past, this may raise a few flags. As you may or may not already know, Facebook was in some pretty hot water recently with the American government because of their role in everything that happened around the 2016 election. Personally, I'm not going to go into that and all of that history there. You, you can support who you want. I don't care. But what does matter is that Facebook's lack of privacy and lack of concern over their customers privacy and i mean it's users privacy not the ad agencies because of that lack of concern people were able to be manipulated by outside entities if the full body rendering does take effect your likeness may be unknowingly used well you may not know about your likeness being used to sell your friend's deodorant. You, or your voice or your face would be used to, to try to sell something that you personally don't endorse. That's a lot to wrap your head around. Just because each of those is an independent story within itself. So, you guys can check out the links in the description down below if you want to read more about it. One other quick thing to note about all of that is that Facebook is going to be giving us all of their privacy protection lines when it refers to VR as well as any other news concerning the Oculus line of products at the upcoming Oculus Connect that they will be hosting in San Jose, California around October. So do keep that, keep an eye out for that. One last story for you, and that is all of the VR games that are gonna be re releasing here in the month of May. All of these are going to be for either the Vive, the Rift, or the PlayStation VR in some capacity. 
I know the index is going to be launching set later on around June for those that actually managed to sneak in their pre-orders. However, we can assume that the, those games that will be available for both the Rift and the Vive will also be available for the Index. So here they are. And the, the list is too long for me to go into any kind of definitive details about any of these. So you'll have to follow the links down below to get into them. Okay, let's get into it. First, we have Infinity. Just came out yesterday on the Vive in Early Access. We have Epic Food Fight in VR, available on both the Rift and the Vive, today on the 2nd, in Early Access. We have Vertigo, also available today on the 2nd, for just the Vive. We have the VR Party Pack, available the day you're reading this, for both the Rift and the Vive. We have Bacata Virtual, on, available on the 6th, for both the Rift and the Vive in Early Access. We have Flavortown in VR, just so you can watch all your Guy Fieri nonsense, in both the Rift and the Vive, also on the 6th. We have Beat Crash, also available on the Rift and the Vive, as of the 7th. We have Ghost Giant, in a physical release on the PlayStation VR, on the 7th. We have Homeward Duck, just on the Vive, also on the 7th. We have Minesweeper Peak in VR. Available on the Rift and the Vive come the 7th. We have Tag War, also available on the Rift and Vive, starting on the 7th in Early Access. We have Hockey Player in VR, available on both the Rift and the Vive on the 8th in Early Access. We have Last Hope Z, available on just the Vive on the 10th. We have Incarna Broken, available just the Vive, starting on the 15th. We have the Toymaker's Apprentice, available both the Rift and the Vive, starting the 13th in Early Access. We have Batteries Included, available on purely the Vive, starting the 15th. We have Bear Hammer, on both the Rift and the Vive, starting the 15th in Early Access. We have Final Assault, available on the Rift and the Vive, starting the 16th. We have Tiny Mortals in VR, available on purely the Vive, starting the 16th in Early Access. We have Everybody's Golf in VR, available on the PlayStation VR, starting the 21st. Blood and Truth, available on the PlayStation VR, on the 28th. We have Aliens Attack in VR, available on the Rift and the Vive, coming the 31st. We also have Taiko VR, available on the Rift and the Vive, starting the 31st in Early Access. And finally, we have Trover Saves the Universe in PlayStation VR, starting the 31st. That one is also set to come to the Rift and the Vive, starting the 4th of June. So if you're looking forward to that, don't worry, that's still coming. We also have a few that don't have any specific dates. However, they are still scheduled to release here in May. The first one is called Clash of Spells, available on the Rift and the Vive in Early Access. We have Combat Helicopter in VR, Surgical, Surgical Strike, available on both the Oculus Rift and the Vive in Early Access. We have the Rift and or we have Dance Reality available on the Rift and the Vive in Early Access. Differently Fast on both the Rift and the Vive in Early Access. We have Four Kings, One War, purely the Vive. Next up, we have Freediver, Triton Town, available on both the Rift and the Vive at some point this month. We have Jinxed, available on both the Rift and the Vive. We have Kaiswo, available on both the Rift and the Vive. We have Mason Grace, available on both the Rift and the Vive, coming out in early access. We have RDS, the official Drift video game, available on both the Rift and the Vive, coming out some point this month. We have Rhythm Defender, available on both the Rift and the Vive in early access. We have Trench Run in VR, available on both the Rift and the Vive. We also have Ultimate Shotgun Championship, available on purely the Vive. We have Virtual, Play Virtual Battlegrounds, available on both the Rift and the Vive in early access. We have Wave Circle, Rift and available on both the Rift and the Vive in early access. And finally, 
we have Winter Fury, Longest Road, available on purely the Rift and the Vive. So, if you guys feel like checking any of those games out, you can find the links to links down below in the description. And just because I'm sure you guys want to stop hearing my voice, ta-ta for now. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And ta-ta for now.